Peter, good morning, and uh, thank you very much uh, for giving us a, a moment of your time. Yes, the news, uh, I'm sure you received it earlier this morning. Uh, while we knew that at 99, uh, Ndate Maponya was not well, and maybe his passing might have been expected, it's still said to lose a, a giant of his stature. Yes, uh, thank you, Dan. Yeah, uh, you, know, you know, even at that age, you know, the death of such an iconic man who just recently celebrated his birthday, you know, comes as a real shock, you know. And uh, it is sad news indeed, and I think it's the end of, a, of an era in huh? terms of uh, black business uh, development in our country. Yeah, what would you remember, I mean, about him all those times? I mean, I remember when I mean, grew up uh, in Soweto, I was born and bred in White City, Jabav, and we knew Ndate uh, Maponya uh, uh, by name. We didn't know him personally because, see, he was really a trailblazer when it came to local business. Yeah, oh, trailblazer indeed he was. Uh, well, well, you know, one cannot talk about uh, Rich, as I used to call him, you know, without uh, mentioning uh, his wonderful wife, uh, Marina, who was a, a, a Miss Sondro and very close to my family in uh, Western Native Township. And uh, then we moved to Soweto, uh, you, you know, in the, fifth, in the late 50s, and that's where we really got close to the Maponia family. And when you look back at that time, I mean, what, what would stand out for you uh, in terms of his contribution? Well, uh, as you say, he was a trailblazer, a pioneer, you know. Uh, uh, you know, he started off his business uh, very small. Uh, you know, he delivered milk, uh, he sold uh, clothing, what at the time was called uh, soft goods. And, uh, and uh, then he had... Uh, he, you know, raised horses, he, you know, he sold BMWs in Soweto. He, you know, he was really the pioneer in terms of uh, uh, black uh, retailing in our country. Yeah, no, I remember those milk bottles being delivered uh, uh, at our doorstep as well in Soweto. My, my, my father used to receive them and used to say, no, this, yeah. is, this is milk from, uh, uh, from Maponia. And, I mean, he really worked hard. I mean, by the time he, he became this icon, and uh, it was really uh, sweat, sweat and blood, literally, in terms of hard work. Yeah, indeed. And, and we must remember, these were pre-Black uh, Economic Empowerment days. And and, and, and and alongside him were giants such as, uh, you know, Ephraim Chabalala, Paul Mosaka, Ben Mabuza, the Magezas, and so on. You know, you know these guys were trailblazers, you know. They, uh, they, they set new paradigms. They set us things that were new, you know, which is something we need to learn from them. And, and, and this is a message I think uh, young black entrepreneurs should begin to learn, that they need to start something new. You know, they need to be fathers or mothers of something. You know, begin something new for the development of our African people, uh, Dan. Yeah, and I think, I mean, that, that inspiration hopefully will, will, will rub on, on many of the, younger, of the younger generation. I mean, I remember him, uh, I mean, seeing him now and again, even at the Anglican Church, uh, St. Paul's mm. Anglican Church uh, with uh, Aunt Marina. Uh, 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 they used to come there, uh, 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 very quiet. He, he, he came across as somebody who was very quiet, just minding his own business, but that belied the strength of the man. Yeah, I mean, he had a steely character, a, a dapper, handsome man with a ready smile, but very resolute in terms of whatever he started, you know, he finished, you know. Truly, truly a great man. Yeah. Uh, how, how, Peter, how do you think South Africa should honor such a, such a man? I mean, th this generation, of course, with, because of age and stuff, uh, we get sad when they, they, they leave us. But it is to be expected in the natural course of life that the older you become, the closer to your death you are. But how should we honor somebody like Bra Rich, as you used to call Richard Maponya? Well, I, I, I think we would need to look to black business formation. Uh, uh, formations, you know, to guide us, uh, 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 you know, uh, even with, uh, you know, the little credibility black business formations have. Uh, 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 and maybe, you know, start a, uh, a, 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 a small business development institute, you know, for black business, because it is small businesses that will create wealth it is small businesses that will create jobs and, and, and it is small businesses that will 
get us out of this economic mire we find ourselves in. And that small business initiative could well be named after Richard Mapoy here. Thank you, very, thank you very much, Peter. We, thank you for giving us your time and some reflections and ideas how we can honor the late Richard Mabonya. That was uh, Peter Vundla, a longtime friend and, 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 and colleague and neighbor, actually, in parts of Soweto, in that neighborhood where he, he, they spent time together as families, the Vundlas and the Mabonyas.